The new color slice tool which has recently been added to the DaVinci Resolve 19 is game changer. You know sometimes some colors in the footage do not have that pleasant depth and we used to change the hue versus luma or hue versus sat in order to achieve our desired look but most of the times these traditional tools do not work efficiently. Now with the introduction of color slice tool in the DaVinci Resolve 19 you can achieve some lovely deep colors with lots of density. Let's dive into the DaVinci Resolve 19 and see the process. So as you see I have imported the project into the DaVinci Resolve 19 and this is one of my latest projects which I have done and I posted the reels on the Instagram you can go and check it out it's one of the great transformations which the hair stylist did and I did a simple color space transform with the CSC as I always do if you check here you can see that we shot this video in s log 3 so the input gamma and color space was a gamut 3 and s log 3 and the output color space I set to DaVinci white gamut because my timeline was set to DaVinci white gamut color zone and for the last CSC node again the input and output DaVinci white gamut and DaVinci intermediate and the final output color was rec 709 because we are exporting this for the social media YouTube Instagram etc I use the simple lift and gamma and gain node here in order to fix the contrast and change the temperature of the video and nothing more and the most important thing here is the changing of the red colors uh, let me first give you an explanation the reason why red colors do not show good in the digital cameras is that the sensor of these cameras are really sensitive to red channel more than the blue and green and that is why the red channels gets overexposed really easily especially in the s log profiles because we tend to overexpose these profiles in order to get a noise free footage so as you see here the red channel is overexposed it's touching the 100 IRE so we have two methods and the first one I'm going to use the traditional hue versus luma and sat method and I created two versions here another one is color slice the new method which has been introduced in the DaVinci Resolve 19 and uh, these are the same I haven't done anything and we are going to uh, start with the hue luma sat version and I'm going to show you the traditional method first I go to the hue versus luma first and if I select the red colors here you see and I will increase the feather here and I want to decrease the luma in order to bring back some of the density in the red colors as you see if I show you the before and after it brings back the density but this is not as good as the new color slice you will see it soon and another change we have to do is the hue versus sat if I decrease the saturation again I increase the feather here and I decrease the saturation and here is the result uh, which we achieved with the traditional hue versus luma and sat and I will go to the other version of the video which is the color slice and now let's go to the new color slice tool which has recently been introduced with the DaVinci Resolve 19 to see how it works as you see if I go to the red color here and we have two options density and saturation you can select the range here if I show you you can see it creates a mask and show you the red colors and one thing that makes it really awesome is that it separates the skin and we have a separate profile for the skin which is really nice because sometimes in some situations there will be reds in the skin depending on the makeup of the model so we have these beautiful options here so now let me show you how great this picture would become by increasing the density here of the red colors as you see when I increase the density we get much more deep red colors and now if I decrease the saturation you see how more balanced this picture gets and if I show you the before and after you see how clean this is and we achieved a really beautiful deep red which was available on the scene when I was shooting this video but because the digital camera sensors are really sensitive to red colors we do not get that deep red by default but here with the color slice tool now if I show you a comparison between the color slice tool and the traditional hue versus luma 
and set you will see how they act differently let me go to the other version here and just pay attention to the flower and if i load the hue versus luma you see we do not have depths here in the flower the shadows they are really flat but if i load the color slice you see how natural the flower looks here we have the depths in the shadows and this is because the color slice tool works directly on the channels if i'm not wrong but the hue versus luma and sat do not work on the channels directly that is why we get a much more beautiful result with the new color slice tool here well from now i think this color slice tool is going to be my favorite tool in the color grading process and i'm going to use it for most of my projects in order to achieve that deep tones in the colors especially in the greens and reds and for the greens for the foliages you can achieve some moody tones which is really awesome and lots of videographers and photographers are going to love it and this was it for today's tutorial if you have any questions please leave them in the comment sections and i will be seeing you in my future videos goodbye